Hi everyone, thanks for joining us for this WBZ web update. I'm Ken McLeod and here are some of the stories making news right now. Work continues in Jamaica Plain to clean up after an overnight water main break. A 36 inch water line broke along Heath Street at about 3 a.m. Some places saw water waist deep this morning and some people even got stuck in their homes. Water remains shut off to some folks in that area. The city says it is in the process of being restored. The sidewalks and roads in the area have been covered in salt to prevent the standing water from freezing there. Contract negotiations continue in Melrose aimed at avoiding a potential teacher's strike. Yesterday, the Melrose Education Association voted to strike starting Tuesday if they can't come to a contract agreement with the city. Educators there have been working without a contract since June 30th of last year. Public employees are prohibited from striking in Massachusetts. One lucky winner matched all five numbers and the Mega Ball in last night's Mega Millions drawing to become an instant billion. Air. The winning ticket was sold at the hometown Gas and Grill in Lebanon, Maine, not far from the New Hampshire border. It was the second largest jackpot in the game's history. It's the first time a winning Mega Millions ticket has been sold in the state of Maine. The owner of the gas station says he thought the call informing him of the win early this morning was a scam. All right, let's check on that forecast now. We've got a storm spinning off the coast, and the debate over how much snow it'll deliver is still ongoing. Meteorologist Sarah Robleski joins us now. She's got more on that. Generally light precipitation will continue to rotate or pivot in uh, from the east to the west from this offshore storm. And what we're looking at is temperatures to be marginal. So while we'll see some snow through the overnight hours, could be mixing with sleet and rain through Monday at the coast. Now the question will be just how much will fall, but it does look as though this area of low pressure will continue continue to strengthen and with cold enough air. Sure enough, we've seen a little bit of a wintry mix today, but temperatures at the surface, they were above freezing, so nothing was really sticking. This system is strengthening and the winds will be ramping up too as the system gets a little bit closer before pushing off well off uh, offshore. So temperatures currently while they're in the 30s, we had a few rain and snow showers out there above freezing in many spots. So again, nothing really sticking. Now tonight will be partly to mostly cloudy, colder to the north and west where we have clear skies. But we'll watch as our first band of some showers moves in for parts of the Cape early tomorrow morning. And again, temperatures are above freezing, so it will be hard to stick on pavement as well as treated surfaces. So we'll be watching as the winds will be ramping up as well. Now as we go on through your day on Sunday, keep in mind it's going to be another cold one. High stuck in the 30s. We'll still be watching for some scattered snow for parts of the South Shore, South Coast, as well as the Cape and Islands. Better chance of seeing some accumulation as temperatures drop below freezing as this next band of snow moves in as far west as uh, 495 as well as Worcester County into parts of New Hampshire. Again, we'll have to see just how strong it is, mainly spotty light snow, but it could continue right into our Monday morning and again may lead to some slick spots out there, but most of this activity will be pushing off of the coast as we go through the day on Monday as the storm continues to push out to sea. So patchy coatings up to an inch, one to three inches possible for parts of the South Shore, South Coast, as well as the Cape. If we get any ocean enhancement and the storm wobbles a little bit closer, we could be upping these totals for parts of the outer Cape. We're also watching as the strongest winds will impact those areas as well with gusts 35 to 50 miles per hour. That could lead to some pockets of damage as well as some power outages. So you want to make sure you have all your electronics charged and ready to go. So a uh, light impact, I guess you could say, for a long duration system for Sunday into Monday. We see some improvements on Tuesday as temperatures rebound. The chance of a few showers looks fairly spotty late in the day and then our next system will be watching could impact our area late in the week. Once again, starting off as a wintry mix before a changeover to rain, Ken. All right, Sarah, thanks. That is a check on your top stories from CBSBoston.com. Hope you have a great night. We will see you next time.